the idea that you can just drive straight into the water and accelerate up to 45, 50 miles an hour, yeah. that's very exciting. Ski is the ultimate fun vehicle, and it literally combines uh, an ATV with a jet ski. The idea that you can just drive straight into the water and accelerate up to uh, 45, 50 miles an hour, yeah. that's very exciting. Well, this was a styling model for the quad ski. Here they were trying to worry about the looks. Here they're worrying about the function. You can see it's a mock-up, but this proved that it went, which showed that we could operate on land. It didn't show anything about the water, but it's actually a hell of a fun vehicle to ride. It's sort of really equivalent to a modern uh, ATV. To go fast on water, a boat has to rise up about the distance of its depth in the water, in this case, say, 18 inches. It's got to physically rise up like this and then slide along the surface of the water. So the powder weight has to be equivalent to a helicopter. To get it to go forward, it has to have a very smooth, beautiful bottom. But in the past, nobody had combined those elements. The previous speed record was 8.7 miles an hour, which is only twice walking speed. And our first acquirer broke that record with just over 32 miles an hour, all because of turning it into a plane and getting the wheels out of the way. So we've been working on these vehicles that I have since, since 94. So it's now 22 years. <laughs> Long time. I should learn better, shouldn't I, after all that time? <laughs> yes, well, this is the Humdinger. This is our biggest vehicle at the moment, and we're going to do some testing on it today. We're actually testing the cooling system. This is a fantastic vehicle. It's four-wheel drive, it can climb mountains, it can go at 85 miles an hour on the motorway, and it can go at about 40 miles an hour on water. Now this is only a fraction of its real power, but that's why it can go so fast on water with that colossal horsepower with two jets. This is about 360 horsepower. Frankly, the amphibians developed them for the last 22 years has been possibly the most serious of all the fun. I want to create new high-speed amphibians. There's huge potential and we haven't even thought of all the things that you could do with it. The motor car, for example, was invented in 1885, and the first ones that were available to normal person was until about 1915. So I hope in 30 years, the world will have tens of thousands of high-speed goodies, and people will be doing all sorts of things, and lots of things I haven't even thought of just means that uh, you don't have to consider there's any limit when you get to the water. You just keep going.